Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of chick lymphangiomas. A 7 year old female patient came with painless left cheek swelling. The swelling extends up to the mandibular region. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the high frequency ultrasound images of the left parotid and submandibular glands. They appear completely normal. Now let's jump into the cheek region where the patient is complaining about a swelling which is not visible but palpable. Here you can see the swelling area, you can see the mandible here and this lesion appears to be a multiseptic cystic lesion with internal sediments here. On first impression this lesion should be a lymphangioma or it might be a venous malformation you can easily differentiate it with color Doppler which we'll show a little bit later. Now this was the cheek lesion but going downwards over the mandible there was another cystic lesion here. It is not multisepted but the lesion looks similar to the previous one. Now here on different preset you can still see the lesion with a better view and you can see internal sediments they are apparently forming a fluid fluid level. Now let's put some color Doppler on color Doppler you can see there is no internal vascularity as it's a face region so you can see some vascularity here and there. Let's compress the lesion. So on compression here you can see there is no internal vascularity within these cystic spaces. If it was a venous malformation you'd see some flow within the cystic spaces on compression. Even the hemangioma with internal cystic spaces may also show venous flow on compression. So this lesion appears to be a lymphangioma or lymphatic malformation. On 2018 the lymphangioma term has been changed or called outdated. Now we use the lymphatic malformation term but due to the old practice nature we still use the lymphangioma term regularly. So this was the first lesion at the left cheek and here you can see another one over the mandible. Here is the measurement, this is the cheek lesion and this one is over the mandible. Here is the color Doppler picture and you can still see no internal vascularity with surrounding regular vascularity of the facial region. So in summary a multiseptic cystic area with low level internal echoes is seen below the subcutaneous layer of the left cheek above the mandible and entry to the parotid gland. There was no connection with the parotid gland. Another similar oval cystic area with low level internal echoes but no septation is seen below the subcutaneous layer over the left mandible. Color Doppler shows no definite central or peripheral vascularity and also there was no vascularity within the septa. So this feature is concluded as a case of lymphangiomas or lymphatic malformations. Histopathology was done in this case which also confirmed the diagnosis. Now the take home message, multiseptic cystic lesion with no flow within the cystic spaces on compression with a location along the distribution of major lymph nodes should be considered as lymphatic malformation first. If you see fluid fluid levels due to sedimentation and separation of different fluids then it may suggest prior hemorrhage. If the lesion gets infected on color Doppler you will see vascularity within surrounding soft tissues and in the wall and septa of the lesion. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. If you are new here, don't forget to share it with your friends if you find this video helpful. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.